Architectural Responses of Cashew to Intercropping and Nutritional Amendments in Nigerian Guinea Savanna Agroecology. This article is written by three author. First author Ndukabi. A. Second author HLS. O. Last author Adewale BD. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study contributes to understanding compatibility of cashew with bombar and nut and sesame. Generate information on the impacts of canopy development on morphological and physiological traits associated with the productivity of these arable crops in Nigeria, and improved insight into the biophysical competitive interactions for growth resources. Field experiment was conducted at Koko Research Institute of Nigeria substation Ochacha, to evaluate the impact of manure and intercrops on cashew tree growth, canopy development and yield. Treatments consisted of bambara and sesame intercrops and manuring using cocoa pod husk, CPH, and NPK fertilizer applied at the rate of 0, 1,713 kg and 400 kg slash ha respectively. The experiment was laid out in a split-split plot design with three replications and monitored within the two years of study. Data collected includes plant height, stem girth and canopy north-south slash east-west direction. These was used to calculate crown diameter, canopy spread, canopy volume, canopy ground cover and canopy ground cover percentage. The results showed that the growth characters of cashew were positively influenced by alley crops of sesame and bombara nut and manuring. Manuring with CPH exerted differences in the responses of cashew to alley crops, in particular canopy development. Intercropping with a combination of Bombara sesame and the application of NPK fertilizer proved to have the highest cashew growth development but showed no significant differences on the yield and yield attribute. The GGE biplot results identified the best intercrop system for each of the three fertilizer type treatment. Within the two years of the experiment, cashew development was not hampered by the introduction of the different intercropping systems. Thanks for watching this video of Current Research in Agricultural Sciences Volume 9 Issue Number 1.